Hello, it's Adam, also known as AB Animation Limited here, and welcome to a very important episode of the Craftanium SMP server. Today, I address you all, my viewers, with some quite unexpected news, um, which is that um, the members of the Craftanium server have in fact voted to terminate Craftanium Season 2 to create a new map and to begin Craftanium Season 3. This has come after consistent calls ever since, in fact even before Minecraft 1.7 was released. Um, the reasons for it are, of course, the 1.7 update has created a lot of new terrain that you couldn't have to travel a very long way to reach. 1.7 has caused a lot of performance issues with the map. Um, and such things as those. Um, the map has become very large as everyone has started travelling out to explore the new chunks and it's now becoming uh, almost too big to handle for a server of this size and uh, many of the newer players on the server such as uh, Cake Bomb and Fish Kings and Flinny uh, kind of deserved a fresh start as us have been here from the start myself, uh, Looter Mega, um, obviously have much more of a head start over there. So I'm stood up here right now on top of the clock tower of the transport hub, um, and <coughs> yeah, so about a month ago, uh, or just over a month ago, when we did the Craftanium first anniversary, um, I did a little bit of a uh, speech on the future of this map, and I said it's not going to get reset. I said that uh, it would be half a year at least until we would consider changing the map, but uh, I believe that was before 1.7. 1.7 uh, caused more problems than I thought it would, certainly performance wise, um, and people are still, uh, they've, they've people, the members of the server have been continuously calling for a new map. Uh, I didn't particularly want it, and well, okay, for a while I didn't particularly want it, but then I reached a stage where I don't really mind either way, to be honest, because, um, yes, I like this map. I have, I, I mean, let's not forget, we've been working on this map for about a year now, it's been just over a year, uh, it's currently the uh, 18th of November, so just over a year ago was when this season of Craftanium started. Uh, in that time we've built this, we've got of course our spawn town, a lot of things have changed, people have come and left, um, and you know because of the, how difficult it was, and how slow progress has been with the Craftanium community for the first uh, half of its existence, it took until recently, it took quite a long time for us to really get set up and for us to really start branching out from the spawn town and from starting to do their own thing. And, you know, um, it's, see, it seems as though, you know, we've only just got this stuff set up, we've got our transport hub set up, the Never Hub's been built, uh, we've got our uh, subway around the spawn town, which really wasn't that necessary to be honest because it's really very small, but. Uh, we've got that and the railway link to the birthday village and all that stuff. We had only just got all that set up. Everyone had only just uh, started to move out to different locations um, in the past few months. I was thinking of, you know, moving out myself. I just noticed if you were. Uh, can you shift my sheep appears? That's how far away it is. Yeah, um. Even though that's the case, uh. On the other hand, a fresh start would be kind of nice. The uh, things here are a bit of a mess, and there's still, of course, the uh, the lingering fact that this map isn't as fully legit as it should have been. Uh, the never was reset several times. Uh, the end was reset after uh, Bucket glitched out and. I don't know if any of the viewers remember when we found all the command blocks and giant chunks of water in the end after we fought the dragon. And f some stuff was cheated in. Um, so generally this map isn't fully 100% legit. And people want a fresh start because... Uh, I'll see if I can get that again. 
down there for, I don't know if you can see them, for sheep. Um, yeah, a fresh start. I mean, uh, we've got a few plans. There's going to be a few more things different as well, with a f other than a new map. Uh, we're going to get a few more new members, um, although there is a prerequisite that these new members uh, must run active YouTube channels. Um, we are going to make the spawn town a bit more controlled. Um, the, well, okay. The way I see it is, um, there'll be a kind of central uh, town. It might not be at the spawn point because what I've done a lot on this map is when someone's left, or whenever a building's been abandoned, you know, and quite a few people have left left Craftania throughout the course of this year, and you know, that the houses just get removed and stuff and. Um, that I, I don't really want to do that in the future. I want to uh, leave everything that gets built uh, so we can kind of follow the, the history of the server a bit more. Um, but that's not really important. Uh, what is important? Um, yeah, there will be a much more organised spawn town. Um, so things here will be built with. Uh, going to be built with permission. We'll kind of plan it out a little bit more. I mean, this, the original. Craftanium spawn town kind of sprung up around uh, well, the original the, the beginnings of spawn town on Craftanium were right here with this bridge. Uh, Nodger's original house was right there. I started building my house here, and it sprung up from there. Uh, Nate uh, built his house just there. He, he's a, a left now, of course, but that's where his house was, and we built the bridge there. Uh, Mega's house was there, and then it kind of spread. But uh, it was never really planned, and it's really very messy, and it's not really a proper town because you've got most of your buildings here, and then you've just got this massive gap until, like, the Tuxus House, for example. And uh, no, I, I, I hope to make the spawn town on the next Craftania a lot nicer. We can make use of the new bio. Someone's left my door open there. Actually, I think someone's left quite a few of them open. They do that just to wind me up. Um, yeah. Hopefully it'll be a, it'll be, and it will be a chance as well for us to really kind of breathe some life into the server. Because I'm going to be honest, it's kind of stagnated a little bit. Uh, not everyone comes on regularly uh, to to build like projects and stuff. I I really do want to encourage people to build more stuff because that is one of the major aims. Um, but. As with pretty much any server of this kind, there's pretty much three things you can do in survival Minecraft, which is um, you you get in your you know the first is kind of like exploring and getting materials. So you you mine in caving, uh, you can just farming, exploring for different biomes and stuff. That's one kind of aspect to it. Um, and the second aspect is building. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory, it can just be building uh, nice aesthetic things, uh, it can be something of practical use like a mob farm, or it can be a combination of both, like for example my house, I do consider it to be both an aesthetic feature and a very practical uh, building. It is, I have to admit as well, this house is one of the fa my favourite things I've ever built in Survival Minecraft and I'm going to miss it quite a lot. Um, <laughs> so that's one of the reasons why I'm so unkeen to let go of this map. Um, I do love this house. Uh, it's one of my favourite things I think I've built in Survival Minecraft. Um, but the thing is, you know, other than that, I don't really, other than this house, I don't really have anything else on this server. Um, so, it'll be a chance for a fresh start for everyone. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So, as I was saying, you've got that first aspect exploring, mining gathering resources and all that stuff. Uh, the second is building, and then the third is uh, kind of social interactions with other players on the server. So, uh, pranking is a major thing, that's part of that, and we do do other social events of course, like uh, the Craftanium server night, and the uh, live streams that most notably uh, Creative Tux does, but perhaps other people will start doing them in the future. And I should probably point out as well, uh, I've decided to kind of uh, split uh, Craftanium Server Night from Tuxus Livestream Night because um, 
as with uh, anything that uh, streams directly to YouTube, uh, you have to be careful with what you say on a live stream like that, and uh, you have to impose rules on it that I don't really want to have in place on uh, Craftanium Server Nights. I want Craftanium Server Nights to be a kind of open, uh, relaxed event without really many rules except don't be a prat. Um, you know, I, I, I don't like people swearing or talking about whatever, you know, sexual topics or anything like that. I don't mind that. Um, but it's... You, um, on some YouTube channels that's, and uh, live streams and stuff, you have to watch out for that. And because I, I kind of see that lead, leading to a bit of a clash between the, the streamers or the uh, video makers and the people who, who want to be more relaxed in their language like that. So I've decided to separate them. You can't impose any kind of rules on Craftanium Server Night except for ones that already exist across the whole server. Uh, but yeah, so there's these three kind of aspects I feel to uh, uh, Minecraft uh, survival multiplayer. And I guess you could say there's a fourth one which is kind of your fighting PvP or just hunting mobs, but I think that could go un under social or gathering resources. Um, and of course these all overlap. Uh, exploring can be a social event, building can be a social event, a lot of the community build was done in server nights, of course. Uh, very fun times, some of the most productive this server has ever been was when we were working on that thing. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm hoping it's going to become more of a focus on, on the Craftanium Season 3, uh, and it will it will be a fresh start for everyone, like I said. Um, so, yeah, it's now only an hour and a half until the deadline for Craftanium Season 2. Uh, the server will shut down at midnight uh, by my executive order. That's when Tux will uh, will be instructed to close down the server. Uh, we'll then do a period of sorting our affairs out, uploading the last of the season two videos. Uh, we will be uh, um, looking for new members, and don't don't bother. With applying, I will handpick people who I think could be a good member of Craftanium. So please do not ask, uh, because it only lowers your chance of being uh, selected. Uh, but yeah, we'll be looking at new members. I will uh, look through and find a nice uh, seed for us to use. This current Craftanium map was directly chosen by me and Nate when I was still co-owner and he was still the owner. I intend to re repeat that tradition by choosing proceed myself um, I mean I I won't go too overboard with it I'll just find one that works well uh, of course we just want a nice area where we can build a nice spawn town and some nice biomes nearby would be nice um, so I'll do a bit of hunting around to find something that works well but yeah but hopefully it will only be a few days until season 3 is ready to begin we'll probably begin it Actually, we might, we could even begin it on Friday night with a uh, Craftanium server night. That's quite a possibility. Um, I, didn't, I mean, just thought of that. Uh, the grand opening will be a server night. Why not? Why not? But yeah, uh, that's a general idea. Uh, so, I think that's explained everything I'm going to have to explain. I know this isn't really what I planned. Uh, it wasn't my decision so much as it was the server's decision. Out of the 12 members on the server, uh, eight of them voted in favour of these changes. There was one abstination, which was myself, uh, one opposed, and two people who didn't vote. So it's strongly in the server is strongly in favour of the, this. Um, and I know it went against my plans a little bit. I hoped I would be able to kind of explore, go out a bit, start building my own stuff. I was hoping more people would start to do that. But you know, this this map is outdated. Um, you have to go a long way to get to the new chunks, and people have already got all their stuff. Like everyone's pretty much yeah, nearly everyone anyway has got quite good gear and you know you know how it is. It's going to be a fresh start and I hope it will breathe new life into the server. So uh, we're going to wrap up this season of Craftanium season two now. It's certainly been fun. I've been running this season for just over a year now. Of course, we started just over there in that in our little hidey hole uh, in the side of that hit mountain. Uh, we started building our house quite early on, it was only the second episode. Uh, 
we've done uh, all kinds of stuff, caving videos, we fought the uh, Ender Dragon in January, uh, the community build was a major part of it, we've done pranks, I've pr I've done like two pranks <laughs> this, this, in this past year, one on Mega's house with the Formula 1 cars and the uh, Woodpecker which is still over there, uh, on top of Luther's base. And many other things, and I have I have really enjoyed it. But uh, the the community believes that it's time for a fresh start, and I uh, will acknowledge that uh, desire. So uh, that is all from this season of Craftania. Um, I will be back uh, within a week or so, maybe when Craftanium season three starts. Uh, so that's all from us now on the server. Uh, this has been Craftanium Season 2, running from November 2012 to November 2013, starring AB Animation Limited, That Notch Kid 2, Little Looter, BCH Lewis, Scooby Doo 277, Mr. Noted by 52, Creative Tux, Little Miss Tux, uh, Bexamondo 12, um, well, there's been Mega Hatch, if I didn't say him already, and a f quite a few other people, some of whom have left. Um, Fish Kings, Cake Bomb Seven, uh, Flinny, um, and quite a few others. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, so, if you liked this video and this season of Craftanium, of course, a like would really be appreciated. Uh, subscribe for more. Don't forget to leave feedback in the comments and perhaps what you would like to see in season three. That's all from us. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. How did you manage that? There's loads of redstone blocks up top. Oh, was it one of them redstone blocks oh, on the yeah. top of the, the facade? The redstone blocks set up. Oh, goddammit, I should have thought about that. Oh, oh my god, this, look, this wreckage looks epic. <laughs>